Hey guys, welcome to day 193 of my carnivore journey. And I hope you're having a good carnivore journey as well. Uh, let's talk about a few things today. Um, I, of course, want to start out with my daily report. And that is that today I had a couple hot dogs. Big surprise. If you guys have been following my daily videos, you know I've been eating two hot dogs a lot here, probably over the last month or so. Um, but again, I'm going to make eggs. I swear, guys, I swear I'm going to. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for dinner, I had a nice steak. Yeah, I had a nice steak and I had a couple pieces of bacon. Now, in, in the picture, of course, it was just two, picture, uh, two pieces of bacon, but I actually snacked on two other pieces while making the bacon or like when it came out of the oven. So four pieces of bacon one um basically pound steak so i'd say 16 ounces uh and of course some tablespoons of butter like usually i'd average about three tablespoons of butter um i did use a little bit of bacon grease um in the in the skillet this time but uh just salt just salt of the steak no garlic no other seasonings um and then like i said that was that was about it for food wise drinks just water um water today of course and uh, i did have black coffee i did have one black coffee feeling wise felt pretty good there are some days where i'm eating like i'll have steaks and um multiple days in a row i'll have steaks and some butter and things like that so and i'm getting quite a bit of salt quite a bit of butter um and steak but I'm still feeling sometimes almost on the verge of cramps every once in a while. So I do think I do think I need to start working out and stretching more. I am going to be. I know you guys, some of you guys have been suggesting it off and on. And you guys, most of you know how I feel. Some of you new followers may not realize that I'm extremely lazy when it comes to working out. I've been trying to lose as much of this weight as I can with just diet alone because I do work three jobs. So don't think that, you know, I have a lot of time because most of my stuff is like, I'm pretty busy guy. So for me to want to work out, it's really tough, but I am going to look at doing some things. I'm, I want to get a weight bench. My roommate, uh, now, by the way, if, if you guys don't know, my roommate, he started his carnivore journey and his channel's called The Carnivore Tales, okay? I will try to leave a link in the description so that way you guys can find it because sometimes finding newer channels is going to be hard. So guys, if you want to go and follow his journey, and I would highly recommend it, please. You guys have, like, it really, my journey over this last six months was really made possible a lot by you guys. I'm serious. You guys really got me through this. He needs a lot of love. He needs a lot of support. Um, you know, he's definitely that babe in the woods. He's going into that with a lot less education. I've been trying to steer him into the right paths, but again, I can only do so much because he works. I work all the time. It's hard for me to constantly mentor him. So guys, he's going to need just friendly support. Like you guys did for me. You know, you listen to me. Sometimes you give me advice. Sometimes I taught you guys some things, but definitely help him out. I will have a link to his channel down below. Also too, I did get some more um, suggestions from uh, from just a couple of you guys on the allcarnivoreinfo.com website. If you guys have any other suggestions, guys, please. I need all the support I can get. Um, you guys have been helping me out tremendously, uh, and we're building that that website together. It's it's slowly growing more and more and more. So. Anything you guys can do to help out. And again, don't forget, we need donations to keep that site going. Uh, I don't like to ask for money, but I just want to remind you guys, 
you know, we need good carnivore resources. So some of you guys have donated. I've got a wall of, uh, of fame for you, um, so to speak, a wall of donations. Um, so you will get credit for those things. And but or you can get the T-shirts, guys. If you order those T-shirts, that's going to really help out because, you know, even though we don't get a lot of profit from the shirts, um, it will help advertise as well and help, you know, to to sell it. And the shirts are comfortable. Um, and they're basically like Gildan shirts, but again, they, they really get the, the message out there when you wear them out in public and stuff too. So, uh, but anyways, guys, anything you guys can do, I truly, truly appreciate it. And, and I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are an amazing audience, seriously. Um, now real quick, other than that, a little bit, I wanted to, to, put out there okay because again this is a community effort right so i want you guys to be educated as much as as i am sometimes and sometimes you guys are more educated than me again don't think that i'm on a higher level because i'm not um but one thing i keep seeing a lot of and this is just people that are like emailing like questions or, or maybe not emailing, but like um, doing super chat questions to uh, Dr. Chafee and Barry and stuff. And it seems like a lot of people, even though they've been doing carnivore for quite a long time or several months, in some cases, they're still, they're still having some medical concerns that they're still dealing with, but they're still also eating a mixed diet too, or a dirty carnivore. So guys, remember, don't confuse symptoms of some things with meat. Okay. Think of it like this. If you are eating just pure uh, ruminant red meat and salt and water, Okay, this is about as pure as you can get. Okay, again, as long as you're eating that and you're eating enough of it, right, you should be good on everything. All right, now, the more you add on top of that, the more probably ailments you're going to end up having. So like right now, for example, even though I've been eating steaks with salt and just having some butter, well, one, the butter. I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, even butter could trigger some things. If I have eggs, that's another little addition that, who knows, that could be triggering something. But if I dip into any other spices or, here's a big one, my coffee with a splash of heavy cream. That's a plant-based product along with that, you know, a little bit of heavy cream, those things could be also giving me little things. Like if I've got, if my skin's not fully clearing up on some things, or maybe my weight slowed down a little bit, there's always those type of things that don't go and complain to anybody right away. If, if you suspect like if, Hey, if you're like, if you're still having some issues then you just have to reduce everything down as much as you can. And I know some people are going to want to give up this. I don't want to give up that. Well, then don't, but then you're going to also probably have those few little ailments that are still bugging you. And again, carnivore is not a cure all, but as much as it does for people, and I've seen it help many, many people, uh, with many ailments over the, like, if you just look at all the thousands and thousands and of testimonials of different medical conditions and what things carnivore has reversed, then yes, it will happen. Some things take longer, you know, so don't get frustrated. If you're like, man, I thought this was supposed to reverse like gum disease. Well, remember, even Jordan Peterson uh, talked about this. Gum disease takes a long time. Okay, my teeth are not in a good shape. I don't, I don't even like to show them. Ugh, I don't even like to show them. But the point is, is that, you know, 
over time, they will get better, usually not worse. It's just going to take a long time. You know, again, you most likely got unhealthy, whether you got fat, whether metabolically unhealthy, even if you're lean, whatever it was, there's, you know, you can be unhealthy and still look normal and not have a lot of body fat. But regardless, you, you know, you spent a long time getting there. It was a slow burn on some things. So it's, it's going to take some time to heal back sometimes. So just try to be patient. I'm not very patient. I have to really listen to myself. My own advice a lot of times is tough. So I just wanted to mention that it's, it'll take a little time. And like I said, if you are still struggling with some health issues, take a hard look at your diet and you may have to, you may have to suck it up and say, well, maybe I'll have to drop the coffee for a little bit. See if that changes something, you know, maybe I'll have to drop the cheese that I've been, you know, I, I don't eat a lot of it, but even that little bit, maybe you're just being more sensitive to it. I don't know, but the ultimate elimination diet is go, go lion, go lion diet. If you have to. So eventually I'm going to, I'm, I'm getting closer and closer all the time. And I feel better and better every time I get closer to lion diet. So there's definitely something there when it comes to eating pure like that. All right. I'm going to leave it there guys. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, for day 194, I hope, I hope I'll be able to make a video tomorrow. So again, I'm trying to be back to mostly daily. I didn't do one for day 192. I didn't do one yesterday. Um, but if I miss a day, I'm not going to backtrack anymore. I'm just going to continue on and we'll just pick up wherever I left off. Just depends on how things go. But I, I want to try to get mostly daily updates for you guys. I, I mean, I miss you guys. Of course, you know, when I don't see you or talk to you that much or hear your comments. So, all right, guys, I will talk with you tomorrow, hopefully. All right, bye. <laughs>